Yes, rise and shine. It is a very beautiful morning, and uh, I'm really super excited to share with you some of our new creatures in the house. Are you seeing this? It's surprising you. This is the mother. Yes, this is the mother. <laughs> and yeah, the others so, there, they are circling. Uh -huh, yes. We shall be showing you many of these. Mm. And how can you achieve this? You see, mm. having a typical local one mm. producing good crosses mm. uh, of mm. savannah. Mm. How can we do that? <laughs> yeah, in this video, we are on many other things. We are going to be sharing with you some of the causes of abortion, miscarrying. Why? Why should you be having such problems? And how can you overcome them? Alongside me, uh, this is Mr. Living, and uh, he is my manager at Kimdi, one of our farms in Nakaseke district. And uh, he's really a very good vet doctor and a full time manager. The reason why I, uh, I always emphasize that you're going to remove stress from your pain when you have someone who is really practically knowledgeable about the venture that you're dealing with, you're dealing with. yes they are quite somehow costly but it is worth it so as you're going to hear from him he's going to be taking us through uh, the causes of abortion miscarriage and stillbirth and eh, some goats produce when uh, the, the babies are not uh, uh, not to date you see so all of those problems we want to tackle and we finish them once and for all in this video thank you Thank you so much, uh, manager Kimudi Company. I'm living in Balonji. I'm the farm manager of the Kimudi farm in Nakaseke. I'm uh, also that. So, as he was introducing, he talked about how we can have white kids, pure white, from a black local. So, it is very important. There's what we call cross breeding. So here, that means you have a good male. Which, so these are the ones that we got from a black one, a black goat, which is here. This is their mother. So young kids, after crossbreeding with the, the other savannah male, so these are the ones we got. Good crosses. Very good crosses. So these are only two, three, three days old. Mm. So thank you very much. To turn away from that, let us talk about the causes of miscarriages, maybe abortions in your flock at the farm. What we must know, farmers normally know that it is brucellosis which causes abortion. That is why that one can cause abortion at the farm, most especially at the late stages of pregnancy, Three, four months and five months the animals can abort because of what we call brucellosis. That is one cause, or one, one cause of miscarriage. Then, you, you ought to know that if you have poor housing and these animals are stressed, the moment the goats are stressed and you have poor housing, they will have, you, they will abort. Or they will have, do what we call miscarriage. Miscarriage means they give birth before time. They will not give birth. 
they will not give birth when the animal has, has grown enough. So in most cases, they give birth when it has died. So poor housing is also stressful. Sometimes also confining them for a very long time. Yeah, that one you should know. If you confine them for a very long time, very long time, and they knock each other, knocking mechanical damage, and if they knock themselves, you may find themselves doing what? Uh, having a miscarriage or abortion. So, these goats, most cases, when they are not used to, to over keeping them in one area, they will always knock each other. For example, if you are spraying and you leave them there for a very long time, it will affect them. It will stress them and cause them to do what? Knock each other and cause what we call what? Abortion. Then we can also have uh, automatically some other fish bodies that like heart water can also cause miscarriage. Heart water. That is a very deadly disease. And I, I, mean, I tell you, you should, you should be keen about those sticks. You may have say you are, you may your animal may have miscarriage. You may suspect it is take samples, what you don't say anything. Yet it is all about your management. So management is key as long as you have to, to have a safe flock that does not do what we call abortion. So with that, with those few remarks, we shall keep adding as we 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 move on. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, you have heard from him and uh, the Baganda say, uh, uh, I don't know that saying, but I can try. But, so, you have heard from him, he has said that you really have to put much of the emphasis on this. Here, at the farm, we, it's rare to find a goat that has a Because we make sure that we don't give our goats stress. Mm. If your goats are stress-free, mm. eh? Another thing actually that can mm, that may bring in abortion, yes. mm. eh? Mm. Shipping these goats from one yes, farm yes, to another, yes. it is also yes. a key. Eh? It is key. You see? It's key. Yes. So much. So mm. these goats can also abort. Yes. But uh, my question is, mm. which pregnancy is better to move? To at ship. what stage? Uh, normally for me I advise mm. farmers, although they want pregnant animals, they mm. will take the ones which are just looking nice, yet mm. not pregnant. Mm. Why? Mm. In most cases, stress will cause pregnancy. The younger stages will be affected so much. Mm. Young ones, mm. easy one, two, three mm. months. They know about abort. Mm. So that one does because the way the animal is handled on the way, mm. it will abort. But most of the these young, these ones that are just starting, mm. one month, two months, they know about abort. But me, I, I suggest you, it is good to stock animals that are in good condition, but you take them, they get. Make it from there. there. It's very key because sometimes you may make losses and you, you blame the vet who is there. It's not working. Yet it was the stress of the transport because mm. depending on the journey. If the journey is so less, it's not very long. Uh, you can take the ones that are pregnant. Uh, but a very long journey, say you are coming from Uguru going to Kabal, mm. they will abort whether you want or not. So, so the distance is relative. Relative. Yeah. So which 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 distance are you recommending? Uh, how many kilometers are you recommending for one who is going to supply, who is going to, 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 to transport these pregnant mothers from one place to another, from one point to another, and uh, he or she was planning to move these pregnant goats to his farm. So what do you, what is your recommendation on this? Because I know many viewers mm -hmm. and our viewers there, mm -hmm. many of them were planning to buy pregnant goats. Because many of them want to multiply their mm -hmm. herd very fast immediately. So, which distance do you think it is? It is not going to be so stressful this goat mm -hmm. uh, 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 to end up miscarrying. Very uh, deep. If I answer that, mm. we can also know that uh, if you handle your animals well, yes. like as they travel, do, if you don't overload them, I know mm. they get time like. You may load, but not overload them. Mm. Such that they, they are not so much packed, piled up. Mm, mm. They may move that distance and mm. they may not be affected. As long as when they reach there, mm. where they, they are going, you can give them an antibiotic. 
most especially you can, some for use the long acting oxidative acyclin mm. but when that one does not work out sometimes me i have ever used it i gave them oxy mm. oxy started but they still kept about it so i turned it to pen strip mm. and then they normalized so okay. pen strip automatically is given for for three days the other one is given for one day mm. so when i turn to that they normalize. but the distance mm. uh, maybe i may not be exact but let me give for example if you are from me i'm in nakaseki mm. this is for me at kamba is not so far mm. uh, it's not so far so if you're keen mm. and if you're so careful mm. when you're transporting them mm. you might mm. you might by a chance mm. not lose you may not those lose. babies may not lose. yes so you have heard from him uh, from here to kampala it's almost 70 kilometers mm. Eh? Mm. so he's saying and he's suggesting if you can have proper shipping mm. strategy and mm. facility mm. then your goods might mm. eh? at high chances you might really if if and only if you manage them well when and they reach when they reach there make sure you give them an antibiotic yes and a vitamin multivitamin there is also a problem of yes. adaptation how because when they are i might the area. yes okay. won't they also stress them up uh, uh, now that area automatically a new area is also a stress to these animals mm. whether you want or not whether mm. they were pregnant or not but what you do when when they have just come mm. give them a long acting antibiotic most mm. especially ox mm. oxetetracycline 20 percent or oxetetracycline 30 percent mm. that can one, i give also a supplementary then, uh, like multivitamin then and what? So you also give multivitamin on top of that okay that one will help them to calm down the stress the other it was like you were to, to control the shipping fever in case of any fever which can come because of the transit they were going through and that we call ship shipping fever. so that would help them to normalize with time yes that one will help them okay so if you have worked out and you have seen i know some of you maybe have had experience transporting ghosts and they are bought and you, if you have used what i have told you then my, my advice i know my advice many people that in case you are transporting, get the normal goods which are healthy, then which are, which will then what become pregnant from them. They will not make any loss and you won't be stressed. Because some, some farmers want to immediate profits, sometimes it may bounce for you. So that is a good ad- I advise you that way. Okay, yes. Mm. Thank you very much, Mr. Living. Mm. Yes, you have heard from him, mm. and uh, really, I do appreciate that information mm. because my people need it mm. eh? many people are planning to to stock some animals mm. but is stocking animals better in the dry season of our uh, season which season is better to stock animals yes uh i think me will because yes dry season you may not have grass but this is what's for them they yeah. enjoy dry season yeah. so much as yeah. long as you have where they graze yes. they enjoy it yeah. wet season is stressful oh. for these goats that's what i know they, yes they so, so if it is stressful mm. that means mm. and out of the experience that i've also mm. seen mm. somewhere mm. it is good to stock animals in the dry season mm. why mm there is a lot of complication in the wet season mm. and Not. if you move them adaptation, adaptation. will also be a, a stressful factor mm. so i recommend if you're stalking your animals please and please you look at the dry season yes. it will really make uh, some sense uh, uh, mm. for you mm. so <clears throat> you have heard everything and really i'm not going to repeat everything but if at all you have any other factor that you know that brings about uh, abortion and miscarrying please leave it in the comment section we would appreciate yes. that because many viewers need to see this information i also want to read some of the comments yes. that you do leave it you leave for us so please thank you very much thank you for always watching us and if you have watched this video up to this point please and you haven't subscribed tap the subscribe button and join the family we shall be giving you a lot of education 
uh, educational videos about this venture that is goat farming cattle farming and poultry farming thank you very much have a nice day Bye.